Hey, welcome back to Ocarina of Time, everybody. Today we're now going to raid the Shadow Temple, and what has to be one of the only uses I can think of for dense fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you aimed at just the right corner with a fire arrow. Or you, or you just shot all the fire arrows you had. All at once. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got to be a master of ricocheting, so you just aim it at the right wall, it bounces all over the place. Lights all the torches, and then just because uh, God has a sense of humor, hits you in the ass last. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Shadow Temple. Yeah, this is where uh, Hyrule's history of blood and greed. You also need the Eye of Truth from this well earlier, which probably gives you the clue to go back and figure out how you're supposed to find it. But here's the thing. you're also What you're really supposed to be is like this is when the game decides to get the idea to split the dungeons into two halves for you. Kid does one half, adult does the other. Yeah. Thing is, you can also just bypass that bit right there and just do the bit as a kid first and then do the shit you gotta do as an adult. Yeah. And I just went backwards. <laughs> hmm. My young self will know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's right though. Uh, this and the next temple, the spirit temple, requires both adult and young going to complete. Yeah, this is what I was looking for first. Great. Basically, I don't remember Link to the Past didn't have anything like that, did it? What do you mean? That required both light and dark world to complete. Did Skull Woods require that? I thought I thought there'd be at least one place to have you do that. Um, I'm trying you to would sometimes that. traverse through the light world to get to certain areas in the dark world. Uh, Misery Mire was one of those examples. Yeah, Misery Mire, I knew you had to uh, get there from the light world. Because you couldn't get there from the dark world. Because it was blocked off. As the Sheikah were known as to be the shadow people to the Hylian's light, they handled some of the dirty work the uh, Hylian king couldn't be seen doing. Hey, shadow people are fucking scary. Is that the lore behind this place? Yes. H have you seen a shadow person? It's scary. <laughs> a shadow person? <laughs> yeah, shadow people. Where at? Where, what's, a shadow pe what's a shadow person? Exactly what it sounds like. It's like a silhouette of a person. This like sure? it's not your shadow that you're getting scared of. No. Are you sure it's not the hedgehog? No. <laughs> All the edge. And here we gotta deal with this shit again. Oh yay, dead hand. How you doing there, good sir? I'll shimmy with you. Yeah, I know. It's like he it really does look like he's just shimmy. <laughs> you're like completely off rhythm, but hey, it's something. Whatever. Now, oh, also now we're going to cheese him this time. So also can't take critique wall either. <laughs> so is the YouTube comment section? No. <laughs> yeah, he begins his morning routine, gets up and starts shimmying, looks at the YouTube comments, starts shimmying the other way. When you wear the, <laughs> when you wear the Eye of Truth, when you wear the Eye of Truth, there's a hole where he's at. Oh. You can throw a bomb at it and you can, and you can come out early without dealing with the hand shit again. <laughs> Unfortunately, even with Master Sword, he does take a, does take a bit of punishment. It's going to not jump slashing. It's over there. Where? Behind. Turn to your left. Right there. Oh, the hole in the floor. Yeah. Um, I can't see. Oh, it's there over it is. there, yeah. Thank you. Where are your glasses? I got to get. I was going to get a new. I need to <laughs> okay, get a, Mom. I need a new. I need to go get them, all right? I just haven't been to my optometrist lately. <laughs> Sometimes I just forget. <laughs> yeah, you'll be the world's worst ADHD parent, Elliot. <laughs> Pay attention to me. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's twitching. Yeah, let it convulse and die. Ugh. So we're gonna get our we're gonna get our big treasure here. Is it the map or the compass? Neither. It's the hover boots. Yeah, it, like it's one of those rare instances where they give you the fucking item right then and there. Yeah. But you do need it. Hover boots let you glide pretty much in midair for a few seconds. The only thing I really hate about it is that your traction is piss poor. Your traction yeah. is shit. It's like it's like it's like you're not walking on the ground. It's ice physics, without ice. Yeah. Ice physics weird. everywhere. So if you thought you know, hey, I like that, and you're fucking wrong, the boots will have to remind you why you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. All right, we'll make our way out of the catacombs and get back to that main room. And every time you pass a talking skull that has that little tidbit to say, you're kind of forced to start, stop and listen to it. Ugh. I went out ahead of time here, and I bought myself a magic potion or two. Because I knew, like, I'm going to be consuming a, bit, a fair bit of magic in this dungeon. Normally, the game is actually pretty good about, um... The game is pretty good about, uh, magic pots, but I just want to have the extra insurance. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt. All you're doing here is you're pointing this one toward the skull that's actually there. Point it to the wrong one, you get suckered down a trap pit, and then you lose one heart. Shit. I believe it was this one. Yep. 
Nice. I do love the skull, the skull temple. The uh, it may as well be a skull temple. The shadow temple is aesthetic. It's great. How so? I, I just, I just like the doom and gloom of it. The doom and gloom yeah. of it combines with the uh, with the absolute bleak darkness of the whole it thing. Is makes it combine it very is, well. It is a dungeon in the purest definition of the word. Right. You know. Now, once you come down here, you're kind of like. No, actually, no. I'm thinking of a different thing. Sorry, I was thinking like the the uh, the incline got a little too steep for, steep for you. <laughs> Ironically, though, I think the music I, I think the music could have been a little more dreadful. Because you know what I love, uh, you know one of my favorite music pieces in Majora's Mask was hmm? Icona Valley. I love that, please. I just love being in there. Um, what what like was like ru ru ruined kingdoms like that and stuff like that are always fascinating to me because you're wondering well, how the, you let it get to this point. No, 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 not the, not the kingdom area itself. I mean, I like that theme too, uh, but no, the area when you first enter Icona Valley where the music house is at. Yeah. Uh, like during the daytime and shit, I love that piece because that is a that is a song that perfectly encapsulates how fucking fucked up this area is, basically. Crouch if you need to with the uh, R button so you can avoid a slice hit. Is it going to kill you? I don't think so, but I don't know how much they actually hit It just for. hurts. It does It does quite a bit. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was three hearts. but uh, uh, It's not three hearts bad, but you still don't want to get, like, chopped. Yeah. Which is, unfortunately, I'm afraid, going to be inevitability here. <laughs> <laughs> no way, LP, look. At most, two and a half hearts. Oh, ow! Oh, that's it. Oh, that's all it did? Oh, shit. I was worried for nothing. <laughs> Decapitate me away. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it only does a quarter of a heart. That time, the first time it hit, it took a half. No, you were already damaged. From what? <laughs> Regret. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about this place is that it does hold some of the more trickier sculptures to find, in my opinion. So. Uh, how so? Like. I isn't well. They, I say tricky, and the truth of the matter is, I just don't remember where the hell they're yeah. at. <laughs> <laughs> tricky in the sense that I just plain fucking forgot. Yeah, this is one of the more forgettable places for me in terms of shot, in terms of skull chillers. Yeah, just like just the optional shit in general. Yeah, uh, we can hear you it need, shuffling right now. You need now. this. You do. I think you may need the uh, scarecrow song on this one. Thankfully, we got it ahead of time. All right, this is here is like basically going to be a shortcut path. If you choose to leave the dungeon and come back into it. You would go down here to get to your boss boss dungeon quicker. But you have to move that block, though, don't you? Yeah. Hehe. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you miss. Oh no, it's coming back. <laughs> oh shit! There's two of them. <laughs> oh no, it's a boomerang. It's like that one scene in Batman Returns. All right. This is where we're supposed to go. So let's take out our bombs. And because go. fuck this guy's morning. Well, no. I don't want to. Oh, no, fuck Bemos. <laughs> this is an Ocarina of Time. They're not as malicious. This is Ocarina of Time. I mean, Link to the Past. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say Link to the Past. Oopsie. <laughs> Get those. Get those. They're basically re-deads in uh, mummy skin. We know. And much like mummies in, in uh, zombie skin. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel the Gibdos in this game are a little disappointing. If only because they are clearly just, as what Matt said, re-skinned uh, re-deads. Yes. Yeah. That, that's it. The only difference is that they have mummy wraps. I mean, I guess maybe... I remember how in the... Uh, Link to the past, where if you fought one of them, they were a bastard to go down unless you got the uh, fire weapon. And I remember right? they took a lot of punishment. Yeah. Like, unless you had the fire rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, burn up, burn them up, shit, by all means. But, but yeah, also, it, there's another point to this room. Also, aside from just hosting whatever this is, if you're running low on magic power, you can come back here and kill them because they'll drop it all the time. Huh. Oh, so they're guaranteed magic drops. Yeah. I'm a, like I said before. I just bought the potions to like try to um improve my chances. Just in case. You never know. I improve my chances of winning the Hylian lottery. Right? <laughs> Tonight's winning numbers are. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I gotta drink my green shit. <laughs> We've come so far. Right? <laughs> 100 days of the nuts. Well, we're gonna be using them again in Druido Valley, though. 
Oh, to uh, stop the guards? Of course. Why did I think of that? <laughs> Here I am just slide stepping away from all their strikes, trying not to get hurt. You fucking just want to Well, just... they will block it if their swords are up, but if you can expose them long enough, it can help with your timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I normally just Z-target them and then just, like, dodge the attack and wait for an opening. You, on the other hand, thinks logically, just, what if I just do a flashbang? <laughs> <laughs> you are made of stupid. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got some... We got guillotines here. It's a shadow temple. Go, go, go whole hog. And we got the wall master. Yeah, I was going to say, I hear... Uh, I hear that dreadful noise. It's not the Shockmaster. No, it's not the Shockmaster. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like you're supposed ah! to die. <laughs> that was one way of killing it. Like, it starts talking to you, and then Link tries to intimidate it and ask you, like, what'd you say? And then it just says, did I stutter? Give so me five. So if, if, a, if a floor master would talk to you, do you think it would like, like a little the hand puppet thing? Either that or be like Thing from Adam's Family. <laughs> or okay, he speaks in Morse code. <laughs> she taps the floor. <laughs> yeah, he taps the floor and speaks in Morse code. That was easy. It's terrible no. when you stutter. <laughs> we'll, head to the, we'll head this way first. I thought, I thought you were going to die. Because <laughs> he took off the eye of truth, I thought you were gonna die. No, no, no. That. the eye of truth lets you see. It doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah, right. I know that, but still, it's Seeing like is believing. <laughs> Santa Claus doesn't exist. <laughs> and they use the eye of truth to prove it wrong. Yeah, the eye oh, of truth. Let's see, starts finding some like fucking truth or shit. Yep. Oh, it's a like life. Oh no! Oh. What are you gonna lose? My shield and my um tunic. Shit. So guess what? I want that back. Give it back. Yeah, this thing's a bitch. I don't care. Why doesn't it get hurt by the scythe? <laughs> now, give me my clothes and my weapon, my shield back. Half a heart. Half a <laughs> That's heart. That's the guy that stole my uniform and beat the shit out of me. It was too. two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to equip the shield. To <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, truth hurts, doesn't it, Link? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't d I, can't, I can't handle the truth. <laughs> So how did he get the blue tunic? He just sucked the dye off of him, turned it back to green. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, how did it steal the clothes off your back? It sucked me dry. <laughs> it didn't even pay. Didn't even get wine and dined. Not even, no, not even a whining and a <laughs> I dine. would rather get ding-dong ditched. <laughs> <laughs> Says your Tinder date's on his way. He just <laughs> rings the doorbell and relieves. Better that than a cash fishing. Sure. So you think Matt means the romantic term for that? He's actually talking about an actual catfish. Right? <laughs> he catfished me. Whoa, he I'm slammed so me with a catfish. No, 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 no. He actually gave me a catfish. <laughs> I like him. But they're so lazy. I've been catfishing him for 10 years. <laughs> I'll hit it eventually. Okay. Law of averages are with me. Okay, round 30. Son of a bitch. Damn it. <laughs> There you go. Make Stormtroopers proud, Matt. Hey, you know it. Vader probably killed one of them. One of them might have been my father. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is Link a firm believer, believer of um, reincarnation? He better be. I know who Ganon is. Well, Ganon's kind of like hosed into that. You think hosed? Because like, I don't think he ever wanted to die. Pay up. <laughs> oh, there's two. Cheeky bastard. I actually needed that, so I'm grateful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five rupees helps. I think the idea of the chest being oriented to the left and the fact that it only had a fucking five rupee payout is supposed to signify that something else might be in this room. <laughs> or they could be cheap asses. Yeah, we need to open up a treasure chest that just has a pink IOU slip on it. <laughs> I think I would probably call them Rupors in uh, later Zelda games. Oh, uh, yeah, Rupors. It's a post-it note. <laughs> I'm 
My money's on the guy with the sword and shield. <laughs> Which that vague bet? Why do we never catch him on that? We always my, lose. My, my oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of looked painful though on the way down. Play, <laughs> place on the white one to win. <laughs> and that's a hundred dollars for the racist. Anybody else? <laughs> uh, for once in my life, it's the white man that's in charge. <laughs> You can't knock him off the edge, can you? No, but I can. I, no, but I can make him walk off. Oh. I did do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I so after that, I kind of remembered there. I used the high hover boots here just for the extra stability. Yeah, so you don't, you don't have to overshoot it. Well, you don't undershoot. Undershoot it. Oh, this was a smart. I was kind of hoping you'd slide off the ledge while you're in your recovery <laughs> animation. Happened. <laughs> it's happened, I think. That's when they add trip mechanics. <laughs> no, it's like you're fucking hover falling down the Springfield Gorge. <laughs> My favorite part of that gag is the ambulance driving right into the wall. It just fucking falls down again. Yeah, because fuck Homer Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll head in there see what we got. Ow. No, no. Without, without that would have been some shit if the fucking <laughs> slip physics kicked in and I fell right to my dad. But you weren't wearing Wait, hover boots. Though. Let's <laughs> check this room here without getting your legs taken off. I don't need my ankle benders. Okay, I don't need my foot benders. It's fine. You would have just been shunted to the shadow realm. You mean your foot rotators? Yeah. You just go to the Shadow Realm. You don't actually lose your ankles. <laughs> you know what? The Shadow Realm's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't you just say hell like everybody else? There's a skull chill in this room now. You can just barely hear it. It's in one of the gated rooms. What's up? Ah, the stone umbrella. You know that thing you've been using the entire dungeon? Guess what? <laughs> what you, <laughs> you, you mean my master sword? That too. This one's a little finicky though. You might want to be careful, because if you go to push this off a little too far up, you'll crush. You'll you'll in your then you'll get crushed by the thing as you're trying to push it to the next block, the next item. Basically, you'll just reset to the beginning of the room. Yeah, but it's also obnoxious when that happens to you. Push it forward little by little so that it gets both of these at the same time. I believe. Yeah. Like that. Then you can pull. Then you can go to this side here and pull safely. John didn't think about that his first time. Neither did Matt. John just keeps just keep putting that block. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's gold sculptures all the way over there. That's effort. And I already got to pull a block. Looks the kind of guy that uh, overeat a place that's right down the corner of his house. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just what? It's just right next door. <laughs> pull overeat to his own kitchen. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the car just fucking burst through the wall. Pizza's here. Oh shit, the pizza's here. Well, we're gonna call it apart here. <laughs> After we have that pizza, we're gonna come back and raid through more of the Shadow Temple. We'll see you guys then.